Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at a few more heresies and heretical views denounced by the Church, and this time, the Jehovah's Witnesses. In the late 1870s, there was a man named Charles Taze Russell, who co-founded what was called the Watchtower Tract Society. After his death, the society ended up in the hands of a man named Joseph Franklin Rutherford, under whom it would later come to be known as the Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, I do have some complaints against Wikipedia's article on the Jehovah's Witnesses because they refer to them as a Christian denomination whose elders establish doctrine based on their interpretations of the Bible, and neither of these things is actually true. They are not Christian, and they do not interpret the Bible for their doctrines. Why would I say this? Well, first, let's look at what it means to be Christian. Putting aside doctrinal specifics about authority over the church or the natures of Jesus as a baseline, I think most people would agree that a Christian is a person who believes that God exists and has revealed himself as Jesus Christ in a definitive way. The Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe this. Their understanding of Jesus is that he's not God. They think Jesus was, in fact, literally created by God and that nothing else was, that Jesus created everything else using God's power. That's not the same thing as believing that Jesus is God, and therefore it's not accurate to refer to the JWs as Christians. If someone were to respond to this by saying, well, at least they believe in Jesus, my response would be that most atheists believe in Jesus. They just don't believe he's God. Believing that Jesus exists or existed can be a sign that you're doing history responsibly. It doesn't necessarily make you a Christian and this already colors the JWs with a distinctly Aryan hue. But what about them not interpreting the Bible? Well, suppose someone translated a Christmas carol into French, but changed Scrooge into a woman, the ghosts into zombies, and Jacob Marley into a hobo who stumbled into Edith Scrooge outside of her home. Would that book still be a Christmas carol? I don't think so. In the same way, the book that the JW elders interpret in order to derive their teachings is not the Bible. It's an invention known as the New World Translation. Now, certain sections of the New World Translation are very close to the original translations of the Bible, but there are also many points where the translation has been altered in order to conform the text to JW beliefs. For instance, there are a few places in the Bible where it says that the disciples worshipped or adored Jesus. Adoration is the same thing as worship. Matthew 28, 17, for instance, after Jesus had come back from the dead, and Matthew 14, 33. In both instances, the word worshipped is used in the Revised Standard Version Catholic edition of the Bible, and the word adored in the Douay Rheims. And in both of these cases, and others, this is mistranslated as obeisance in the Bible used by the JWs. Obeisance can definitely refer to respect and reverence, but it does not refer to worship or adoration. There are numerous faulty translations just like these, which tell me that the New World Translation is simply not the Bible. Of course, just denying the divinity of Jesus is already the heresy of Arianism, and if I were to go into all the other strange things the JWs believe, this video would triple in length, but suffice to say, it's no surprise that Christians would view a non-Christian understanding of Jesus as heretical. And a non-Christian understanding is precisely what the Jehovah's Witnesses have. Next time, other heresies throughout the history of the Church. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.